everyone, it's Kirsten from You Matter, and today I'm going to be answering your questions about moving to secondary school. The transition from primary school to secondary school is a really important milestone in your life. Usually you would take part in transition days, which are to learn your way around the new school before you start, to get to know your new teachers, to get to know new friends who you'll be sharing a form with, and to really get a feel of what it's like to go to secondary school. I know lots of you have been wondering about whether you're going to get your transition days this year because of the whole coronavirus situation. And for some of you, that might be making you feel a bit more nervous, but please try not to worry too much. Your primary school teachers are working on a plan with the secondary schools, and there are people in the government of Jersey thinking and talking about this all as well. I'm sure you understand that the most important thing is to make sure everybody is safe and healthy. You won't be starting secondary school without any preparation at all. When you start Year 7, you'll have an induction, which will include being shown around the school, where your locker is, how to use facilities like the library and the canteen, where to be dropped off and where the school buses park. You'll be given your timetable of lessons, a school map, a planner or diary and a timetable of after-school activities. You might be assigned a buddy to help you learn about the school and guide you around. So how is it different from primary school? Well, there are a few differences. For example, at secondary school, you will have different teachers for different subjects rather than just the one class teacher. You'll also change lessons every hour or so, and you'll move into a different room for every new lesson. And a bit like when you were in reception at primary school, you'll be the youngest students in the whole school again. These changes can seem a lot to think about, but remember, it's a new and exciting part of your school journey. I'm here with Mr Young, who is the PSHE and Careers Lead at Hope Ballet School. So Mr Young, do you think that teachers are more strict at secondary school than they are at primary school? Well, the short answer to that question is no. Um, when all year sevens start in September, they effectively become young adults and um, with that comes respect. So the members of staff, all of them, will respect all the students that start in September. Um, but in return, the students need to uh, respect the staff at. At Grainville School, as well as at Hope Ballet, Year 7 students begin in Horizon, which is like a school within a school. You'll spend time in your tutor groups and learning the core subjects, which are English, Maths and Humanities, in one area of the school which is allocated specifically to Year 7. You then study other subjects like science, art, music and PE in the larger school with specialist equipment and resources. All of Jersey secondary schools have a slightly different number of students, but on average there is about five forms in each year, with about 20 to 25 students in each form. If your friends from primary school are in a different form to you, then you will get to see them at break and lunch times, but you won't be able to choose which class you're in, I'm afraid. This will be done for you by the teachers. At most secondary schools, the day looks a bit like this. You'll start with registration, followed by two lessons before break time. Then you'll have another two lessons, lunch time, and then a final lesson or two before the end of the day. You might also have some tutor or mentor time at some point during the day. Your parents or teachers might have asked you to fill in a survey for me over the last few weeks, so thank you if you did that. What I discovered from it was that there are three main things that you're worried about when it comes to moving to secondary school. The first one is friendships. Making new friends, losing old friends, being lonely and the possibility of being bullied. Making new friends. Don't rush it. It takes time to make new friends. Be yourself and you'll make friends with people who are similar to you. Try to smile and be approachable. Although it might be scary at first, make an effort to speak to people, even if it takes you out of your comfort zone. Remember, you're all in the same situation. When it comes to keeping in touch with your old friends, why not make a photo album of all your friends at primary school? Keep in touch with your primary school friends and try to hang out outside of school. You could introduce your new friends to your old friends. Don't worry about not being as close or seeing them as regularly. A good friendship can pick up at any time. If you feel like you're being bullied, 
Don't react negatively and retaliate. Talk to someone, friends, parents or carers or your teacher, they'll be able to help. And remember, it is not your fault. But lots of you were really excited about meeting new and different people and making new friends. It is an exciting time and often the friends you make whilst you're at secondary school will be your friends long after you've finished school. The next thing you were worried about is the work. The amount of it, how hard it's going to be, how much homework you'll have, exams or tests, whether you'll be able to keep up and the time limits or deadlines. The step up in difficulty of the work shouldn't be any bigger than it was when you moved from year five to year six, but the way you learn might change a little. Here are some top tips to help you keep up. If you are finding the amount of work difficult, ask your form teacher for help. Make sure you always have your planner with you as this will help you to keep organised. If you lose your timetable, ask your form tutor for another copy or ask your friends what lesson you have next. Listen really carefully to your teacher and politely ask them to repeat anything you don't understand. It might be helpful to write notes so you remember what to do when you get home. In secondary school, you usually have about an hour of homework each day, but it's up to you to make a homework timetable. But lots of you were excited about joining school sports clubs and doing new subjects like art, drama, cookery, languages, and most of all, doing dangerous experiments in science. And the third most common worry you had was getting lost and being late for class in a much bigger school. Try not to worry though, your teachers will be understanding in the first few weeks. Here's some more things that might help you. Keep your school map in your pocket. Go straight to your next class and don't hang around between lessons. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you're lost. If you have a buddy, ask lots of questions. They'll remember exactly how you feel. You'll soon work out where all your classrooms are and how to get them, but don't expect to remember it all at once or know where everything is on the first day. And if you're coming to Lake Henneve, it's a brand new school, so nobody knows where they're going. Some other things you were excited about were a new adventure, getting a fresh start, having more independence and teachers trusting you with more responsibilities, taking the school bus home and having lockers. So here are some general tips for your first few days. Plan your route to and from school. Ask someone you trust to do the journey to school with you before doing it alone and make a backup plan with your parents or carers in case something goes wrong, like missing the bus. Write the names of your teachers on your timetable so you don't forget them. Think positively, I can do this. Make sure you get a good night's sleep before your first day. Only bring what you need in your bag rather than everything. Try to get a full breakfast in the morning just to keep you energised until you get to break time or lunch time. And finally, make sure your phone's on silent whilst you're in school. So that was a whistle-stop tour of all our secondary schools. But before I go, I'd like to introduce you to Emily. She works for You Matter as well, and we run workshops in all of the island secondary schools. So you will be seeing us around sometimes next year as well. Thanks, Kirsten. Hi, guys. Um, hopefully, you're really looking forward to moving up to your new school, but you might be feeling a bit worried as well, and that's totally OK. If you are, talk to somebody about it. So you could talk to your parents or carers or a grown up at home. You could also talk to your year six teacher or maybe your new year seven tutor as well. You could have a look on the school's website and their social media because there'll be lots of answers to your questions on there. And you could have a look at advice websites like BBC Bite Size. And if your feelings get a little too overwhelming and you don't want to talk to somebody at home or one of your teachers, you could always call Childline on 0800 11 Double one. Okay guys, we're really looking forward to seeing you in year seven. Yep, and in the meantime, enjoy your summer. Bye. Bye.